You're very low again, babe. I can't help it. I can't make myself taller, especially well, for you. Yes, you can. Put a cushion under yourself. I don't want to put a cushion under it. It makes you feel wobbly. You need a cushion. Hello, everyone. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Had a vision then of us doing Hello. this when we are like 94. YouTube. Calling YouTube. YouTube. Calling YouTube. Hi, Leo. Hi, Tracy. I couldn't Hi, see Leo. the first one was there. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Leah. Should Hi, I get Hannah. My glasses? Hi, Zoe. Hold the fort. Hi, Laura. Hi, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hi, Nessalam. Jordan. Oh, my God. What? Wonderlust. Wonderlust. Mark always tells me off if I tell you how I feel right at the beginning of a review. I just think people but like I bloody out. hate this series. I found this episode really challenging. Tedious. I find it really challenging. Um, if I'm honest. Somebody said they thought the ball on the floor was a brain. It is. <laughs> it is. It's my brain. Um, it started with greasing a chicken, which is never a good thing, is it? Let's face it. Even that was unsavoury. Hey? Everything about this show is unsavoury. Well, yeah, you felt that about all the characters and about all the... Hello, Amy and Dean. Amy and Dean? Amy and Dean? Lulu. Lulu. Lulu, Lulu. Yeah, we felt... I felt that... First of all, I think the writer's having a laugh. Well, can I just say the writer went on record them. this week as saying, this isn't a manifesto for living. Right, OK. But it does feel like it's possibly a wet dream of his. Exactly. Do you agree? Yes. You feel he's having a bit of a fiddle? You missed the first five minutes, you didn't miss much. You missed the greasing of a chicken and they were clearly trying to draw parallels between greasing a chicken and other things. Just as a general overview, I feel it's a bit obvious. You liked the last episode. It's a bit unsavoury. You were very positive about the last episode. Yeah, I but hope this you know. one just pissed me off. I tell you what I like. I like it when this this show is sticking with the kids because the kids have heart. The best thing in it. For me, it, there's too much emotionless sex. For saying they want to have sex outside, the, there's no emotional sort of angle on it whatsoever. Well, no, but it? they've said that they don't want emotions. That's no, no, what no, they no, keep no. saying. But it's very That's hard. Yeah, but it's it. very hard as a viewer to identify with it. Then it just becomes like, well, who would well, yeah, be but interested then at in nine... watching people just wander off and have shanks? Yeah, but then at 9.37, gear change, big gear change. 9.37. The woman that the husband is having an affair with suddenly said, it's more than this, it has to be my feeling. So now all oh, in the last... Alan's teacher friend, yeah. Claire. So in the last... 23 minutes, we mm. moved into Everybody's Now Got Feelings, and it was like, oh my God, it was like a three, po a sharp three-point turn. Yeah. You said at one point with, when Alan was driving along the road, Stephen McIntosh, you said, he's a classic, sad, middle-aged bloke. Spliff smoking. Spliff smoking. Trying to get hold of the young yeah. birds, playing his old music to everybody. He just... Not the actor, because I love the actor, and I think he's brilliant. Felice Mustafa is so right. I do not watch any, not realistic, sorry. But the sorry. character is so repulsive to me. The character that he plays is repulsive. He's a spineless, whinging, lecherous, borderline creepy, middle-aged man who has a beautiful home, a successful wife, three gorgeous children, just get a life. I, I entirely agree. Um, and she, she, don't would, talk to me about her. Who? With Which all of, one? She. The, the woman. Which the main one? woman in it. Yeah, Tony Collette. Tony Collette's character. I think she's, she's the most smug, selfish, smug, smug, supercilious, greedy. For saying she's a shrink, she's got about as, as much emotional intelligence as a doorknob. Yeah. Oh, let's all sit the kids around. Let's all sit the kids around do it and just tell therapist. them that we're all shagging somebody else. You wouldn't do it like that as a therapist. Even even a, a bad therapist, you wouldn't do it like that. That's it's not believable. Inconceivable. It is not believable. And it's not arched enough to be comedy where we're just on the edge. Yeah. It's just unbelievable. Yeah, but I do... Shout out for the young people in it. Though. Go on, give us a shout out for the young people. Well, actually, well, I think the actors are very good in it. I just think the direction, I think the it's rudderless. The Go direction on. is rudderless. I think the writing, I think the whole premise of it is just unsavoury. I think there's too many unlikable characters in it. Again, the actors are doing it very well, 
but you've got to have somebody that you like. Yes, I entirely agree, and it's a bit of the same problem I'm finding oh, with finding I'm finding with Trust, the other series that we're reviewing, is there aren't enough likable characters. And then I think of something like Patrick Melrose, where he, despite all of his peccadilloes and his eccentricities and his indulgences and all those, all those kind of things, he was deeply likable. You know, do you know what yeah. I mean? I mean, you can, I'm trying to think of other series where you can have a lot of characters who are sort of very indulgent and very sort of, you know, hedonistic, if you like. And yet you, you, you've got to find some compassion. I've, all my compassion goes to the teenage boy. Um, sorry, I'm just, I'm using, I can't look like everything with them like that. Um, all of my compassion goes towards the teenage boy. But even that. What? Well, I mean, he's lovely, but... I, feel, I tell you, in fact, more compassion went to his dear friend who said, don't put your tongue in my mouth when he was practising kissing. Nadia's right. Lots of people saying they lost interest today. Well, it was a very weak episode. It was an incredibly weak episode, and, and I'm inclined to entirely agree. I thought from the get-go, I thought they were setting their stall for a very interesting exploration of extramarital affairs, blah, 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 and an open marriage. And I was expecting by now for it to be... And it, to be fair, it has started in that the husband has decided to elect for more time with his, his love interest. And Tony Collette... Elect for more time with his love interest. My what? God, that's a flowered-up version. Well, yeah, he yeah, but get Tony... his rocks off the yeah, exactly. all the time yeah. while still loving the kids, rolling No, 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 no but he's, he knows... He, yeah, but the point in the narrative is that the fact that he's done that and Tony Collette hasn't is that he's jeopardising the marriage now and she isn't. Yeah. And, no, 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 and, and when no. she didn't go to the doorbell and then she yeah, came yeah, back... Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I get all of that. It was all cliché done. So, um, I, I, you know, the, this series has to, in the next episode take us into the uncharted territories of how complicated this becomes and whose emotions are being screwed with and played with. And I think we have to go back to that thought that was in the, the guy that Tony Collette was originally having an affair with when he said, you're greedy. You're greedy. I, think, I, I think said that need... before he said that. I said, yeah, this is a group of George, greedy people no, no, that no, all did. think that they should bloody You're have... greedy about saying greedy. Oh, what about the new bloke that she went to the calf with? Oh, my God. Well, hang on a minute. I called him the twat in the... Something rather, and Nadia called him something much worse. No, 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 I did actually, but it's the C word. It, it, he manifests everything I hate about Shoreditch. Again, not the actor, the character. No, 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 the character. The character yeah. Very unidentifiable with, yeah. very unsympathetic. You, you know. can't have too Ooh. many characters, <laughs> whether it's a play, whether it's a movie, whether it's TV, whether it's a book. You've got to have the characters that you love a bit as well and that mm. you that you can somehow identify with or sympathise with. And yet, apart from the teenagers, everybody else, you just want to go to them, oh, go on, bog off, get a life. Yeah. I thought British people had no problem with nudity and that they were quite open and progressive. No, I mean, that's Swedish. Russia, and now no, that's in the Australia. Swedish. We're very messed up about it. Nudity. Oh, we're massively messed oh, up no, about it. Oh, no, it's so... We so never messed up. We can't do nudity. No. We do contorted forms of partial nudity. No. We're weird. We don't do nudity. You've mixed us up with yeah. the Swedish. Yeah, someone else. The British are the very worst in the no. entire world. We had to turn the sound off for the for the sex scene, didn't we? Because she had... She... Well, I had to go under my shirt. What were you doing under there? I went, I went like this. No, I know. I wish I could sexy. go in there. And then I looked up... Can I have a look? And I could see through my shirt that they were still at it in now, the car. Now, in case you were wondering what they were doing, minutes before, God. a character played by Paul Kay uh, had him. commented on... It wasn't he Dennis Penis? Mm. Yeah. Commented on the fact that she had a basket full of condoms and lube. Lube? <laughs> I mean, do we need to hear that word? <laughs> Somebody just said the only likeable one is the son. You're right. And, he's, and the girl that's well, in love with him. The only likeable one the is the son. People. I the young people. It's the young people. <gasps> What? what about the awful bit that I'm convinced this is going to happen? Sweet lesbian daughter went over to cake shop lady. Oh. Three beautiful desserts. And they even made that a dessert. You found thing. the dessert testing. And she I had to not look at the dessert testing. they're going to have an affair. The dessert... Te can, can I just say, they use the same sound effects in the dessert tasting as they did for big snogging. Did anyone else find the dessert tasting bit a bit disgusting? Margaret McKay... We will switch if it, switch it off if it's we that can't. bad. We can't. We're reviewing it. We're reviewing it. We we're would. trying we to never help let people. Down our yeah, yeah, exactly. People like to know what to think of things. So it's kind of like you know, what's the point? Yeah, it's the like saying to a team. Was so cringe. The cake scene Tracy. was good. Well, I'm pleased that she actually got away and she walked away. But they're clearly, they're clearly they're lining, have up, an they're affair. lining up an affair. I mean, how many more unsavoury situations can they have for people no. to snog in? We're going to see the. 
Oh. oh dear. But I have to say, I do. I really like the woman who plays Stephen McIntosh's the guy's uh, partner. I think she's incredibly strong in some of her scenes. That scene oh. in the car when she said, she's "I don't know if this so will work for me." So good. Yeah, yeah. She's so good. Yeah. I bet she's brilliant on stage. Oh yeah, yeah. She's no, a she's, very she's, powerful actress. She's, she's very good. But anyway, and, uh, again, you know, hats off to all the actors. The actors are doing a great job. Yeah. It's just. Totally agree, Todd the Bunny. Who's that? Anyway, um, well, we look, anyway, last, I think I think them. this episode was by far the weakest. They've dropped the ball. They need to get a few. They need to get away from it just being. It's just tre treading along it's selfishly, isn't it? Yeah, it's just treading look, along selfishly. And actor says bodyguard and wanderlust too much sex, but not good sex. Not scenes. good. Exactly. I've never. Can I be honest? I've never known a sex scene add to a drama ever. What does it ever add? Oh, look, Todd the Bunny says, honestly, though, I really believe some people's lives are like that. Do you? Like what? Like theirs. What do you mean? It's, it's partner swapping. Well, there are. Anyone with pampas grass. Watch on all four a Dutch drama called The Swingers. Oh, I'm not saying they, people don't do this, but do we want to watch it? <laughs> yeah, let's just stick with us, Art, Zoe. Hey. Zoe says stick yeah, with us. Yeah, I'd much Art. rather deal with, with, with cartels shooting off hands and severing heads than really selfish, greedy suburban sex. That's yeah. what it is. It's just, it's just, it's grubby and it's, it's, unsavory. it's unsavory. But it's also, but I'm, I'm, I was an apologist for the first two episodes because I thought they were going to explore. <laughs> I thought they were going to wrong with Pampas Pampas Pampas. Pampas. I thought they were going to explore deeper subjects, and they just aren't. Yeah, Nadia's <laughs> right. The writer's sitting there with his hand down his pants. Mark. He is. Mark. He is. Just, I didn't say that on YouTube. I said that. He's in... fiddling, and he needs to stop. He needs to get his pen out. I and mean, that's not a euphemism. I mean, he's got to get his pen out and write. Who by the door? Well, somebody once told me that when people have pampas grass, not if you've bought the house and it's got pampas grass in it, but if you've actually planted pampas grass in your front garden. Oh, sticky keys. It means you're a swinger. Sticky keys. Obviously, I don't know if that's true, but that's what I've always been led to believe. Why, why, okay, I've always wanted to know, what is it about a pampas grass that got it that repu got that reputation? Maybe it's because it goes... And what, swingers swing? Swinging. What, are you trying to say because a pampas grass swings? I think it's very obvious from the road. So you think it, you're talking about it more as a beacon. Why wouldn't they use a palm tree? Or in fact a beacon. Or why don't they just use a light? Why are we having this conversation? I don't know. I don't. I In think you're view. right, Vibe Feeler. You've picked too much to watch. Let this go way, the way of your... Well, I hate to say it. I think this is going to go the way of Westworld, and I think trust is going to go the way of Westworld. No, we can't. No, we can't give up yeah. on this, because too many people are watching it. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Okay. Oh, Lord, I've got Pampas Grass. <laughs> I'm no swinger. I know. This assumption that everyone with the Pampas Grass, there's Pampas Grass owners I around the country say... going, I'm not a swinger, including my dear late nanny Thelma. But won't it be funny how many of you do late nanny Thelma, how many people People that are watching this that do have pampas grass Philly. in the garden and are swingers. Yeah, let us know if you are a swinger and you have a pampas grass in your garden. Um, Philippe Mustafa, I think I'd rather watch 24 Hours of Peppa Pig than Tony Collette's sex face. <laughs> I know. I think so, I'd agree. I think, what's Peppa... This is her sex face. Does anyone else think she looks a little bit like Esther Ranson? She does a bit. Do you know what I mean? Every now and then I keep expecting her to sort of... I mean, she's a very striking oh, woman, you know. I've met striking. her, she, I loved her. Yes. But it's the character. You need to be more relaxed, says Mitch um, Stan... Stan... Sorry, Stanvoff. Oh, you Brits need to be more relaxed. It's just nudity in Australia. It's no, no, hang on. Well, look, no, nobody was no, nude. No one was Nobody's nude. been nude in the whole series. The, the, the issue was the nudity. squelchy noises. That, it's, it was the noise, it wasn't the nudity. There's no nudity. Was, maybe we should grow it in our garden. Oh, crikey. <laughs> Ooh, crikey. Oh, crikey. I, I remember cutting my hand severely in a pampas grass. I put my hand right down the middle of one. Is this sounding I think we wrong? might have gone a bit off track. Yeah. So basically, that is episode yeah. four. Episode four. Paul Kay, I thought, was quite good, but he was as, he was as unsalubrious as everyone else, wasn't he? He was a bit creepy mm. and he a bit haggard, but I thought mm. he did haggard really well. But we felt the scenes with, with Tony Collette and him were a bit... It was a bit over. It was inauthentic. Yeah, they were a bit too excited. Yeah. They were a bit too. And I hated the scene with Tony Collette and her own shrink. I want to slap her shrink. He doesn't mean that. Literally. No, 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 not. Like, what do you mean, literal? Of course, I don't mean that. She's a fictional character. I want to. They're just so middle class, sitting there, just 
chip, chirruping away about nonsense, self-justification, and, and just being... Anyway, there are a bunch of selfish effing shaggers. That's what they are. We need, oh. to put them, we need to put them to bed, not like in bed, but get rid of them. So there we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a bit annoyed, actually, and the more I think about it, I'm getting more annoyed, so I think we should stop. But please do subscribe to the channel <laughs> and hit the notification bell. Yes. And then you can always know when we're going to rant about something. Hang on, let's just see. Just... Ah! Mark! <laughs> Good night, everybody. Mark, don't. It's horrible. Stop it. <laughs>